The onboard diagnostics monitor all exhaust gas related components and systems, but not the composition of the exhaust gas itself. Some components and systems are permanently monitored. For example, misfiring, injection, the signal of the lambda sensor or all circuits of the exhaust gas related components. Other components are only monitored when passing through a driving cycle. In other words, under specific operating conditions or if certain operating points have been reached. Examples of this cyclical monitoring include the catalytic converter, the fuel tank ventilation system or exhaust gas recirculation. This driving circle has nothing to do with the so-called new European driving cycle used for vehicle prototype certification tests. Permanent monitoring can be interrupted under certain conditions. For example, at engine speeds of over 3000 revolutions per minute, at speeds of over 120 km per hour, or when driving safety systems are activated. Only if an error occurs in two consecutive driving cycles will the Diagnostic Trouble Code, or DTC, be saved as confirmed, causing the malfunction indicator lamp to light up. Depending on the severity of the error, limp home programs may be activated. If an error does not occur again, the malfunction indicator lamp will go out after three faultless driving cycles. After 40 faultless driving cycles, the DTC is also deleted from the OBD memory again. With the introduction of OBD, the various DTCs used by individual vehicle manufacturers for just one error were replaced by standardized DTCs. The first letter indicates the area in which the error has occurred. Errors on components related to emission control are indicated by a P for powertrain. A zero in the second position indicates the standardized DTCs independent of the manufacturers. The third position indicates the assembly group of the error. The last two digits stand for the detected component and the type of error. The wording of the text used for a DTC may vary depending on the scan tool manufacturer. The diagnostic connection must be accessible from the driver's seat. The connection and data transfer are standardized. This means that the plug assignment and transfer protocol are the same in all vehicles. Pins 2 and 10 are used for data transfer according to the American SAE standard, whereas pins 7 and 15 are used for the European ISO standard. Pins 6 and 14 are used to transmit the CAN data bus signal. Pin 4, vehicle ground. Pin 5, signal ground. Pin 16, positive battery terminal. All other pins can be freely used by vehicle manufacturers for additional diagnostic functions, such as air conditioning, ABS, airbags and so on. All the functions of the OBD can be called up using nine standardized modes, from Mode 1, reading out actual values, to Mode 9, vehicle information. The method of depiction is not stipulated. In Mode 8, the repair shop can request the readiness code. The readiness code is usually depicted as a 12-digit binary code in two numerical rows, but may also be plain text, depending on the scan tool. One row provides information about 
which exhaust gas related components or systems are present in this vehicle. This is indicated by a 1 in the corresponding position. In the second row, a 1 indicates that the applicable diagnostic test has not yet been performed. The value is only set to 0 once this area has been tested. The readiness code does not provide information on whether errors are present. It is purely a check of whether certain systems are present and whether the diagnostic tests on these systems are finished. It was established in order to prevent manipulation in the country-specific exhaust gas tests. When the ignition is started, the OBD malfunction indicator lamp MIL, lights up for the function check. If an exhaust gas related error occurs, or if an error is detected during self-testing of the control unit, the MIL lights up continuously. If an error occurs that leads to cylinder shutoff or to damage of the catalytic converter, the MIL flashes. If an error no longer occurs after three consecutive driving cycles, the MIL goes out. The associated error message remains saved for 40 additional driving cycles. Please note that a component indicated as being defective by the OBD is not always also the actual cause of a malfunction. You can find examples of this in our brochures and service information publications. For more information, contact your local motor service partner directly or visit the web addresses shown.